All right, so we're going to talk about pig anatomy. And pig anatomy and cattle anatomy are actually pretty close. Um, they have a couple different parts, but for the most part, they're, for, they're fairly similar. So the round is essentially the thigh on a cow. The thigh on a pig is the ham. Okay, so that's kind of the muscular portion of the rear leg of, the, of a pig. The loin is exactly the same as it is in the cow. It's that muscled portion along the backbone of the animal that gives us really juicy, delicious meat. The shoulder is the same in the pig as it is in the cow. Muscled portion between the neck and the ribs. The rump, again, is the part of the animal between the loin and the tail, kind of the bum part, right? Um, same as in the cattle. Ribs, again, the same as it is in cows. The side section of the animal between the belly and the top. The jowl is the chin area, okay, so kind of the jaw. The pastern, um, this, this is a part in the cattle. It's the same in the pig as it is in the cow, but we didn't talk about it in cattle. Um, this is the part of the animal's leg that's between the fetlock and the hoof. So the hoof, the hoof is the part that touches the ground. Then you have the pastern, and it's a very short, small area. And then you have the fetlock, and that fetlock is essentially the wrist or the ankle joint. So the side, exactly what you would think it is. It's that section between the belly and the top of the hog. This includes the ribs, okay? So the ribs are just one part of the side. The side includes all of that. The belly is the underside of the animal. That's actually where bacon comes from. And then the hock, this is the same joint in swine as it is in cattle. It's that part of the rear leg that corresponds to the knee on the front leg, but it bends the opposite way, it bends backwards. All right, we'll stop there and we'll talk about poultry in the next video.